Hello Capricorn, it's Milady from Milady's Way Tarot and I'm coming to do your weekly weekend reading for the weekend of September 28th, 2018. The cards I am using today are um, the Fountain Tarot Deck by Jonathan Saints. I want to thank everybody for like, share, subscribing, and setting up personal readings with me. Alright guys, let's get this show on the road. Alright, what's going on with the Capricorn? What's going on with the Capricorn? Capricorn, Capricorn. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Capricorn, Capricorn. Alright. Alright, so it seems like we got the Hermit card here. So I feel like somebody is in deep thought about a situation. Solitude. Somebody is definitely um being a loner right now. All right, that's crazy because this was at the bottom of the deck and I'm just like, oh, uh, no. But then I guess the, why don't I want to say angels, okay? But the energy is, is like, uh, yes. So it seems like somebody is like in real deep thought about a family situation. I feel like maybe how to make the family happy, okay? All right, so we got the six of wands here. Yeah, so it seems like somebody's trying to make their family happy. I feel like somebody is happy with the family. Like, say if it's you, you're happy with your family, but your family members aren't happy. So I feel like somebody is trying to make everybody in the family happy, okay? All right, let's see what the six of wands is reversed about. Because the six of wands reverse is just like, you know, I'm happy, but everybody's not. You know, it's not successful. But let's see what this is. All right, so we got the three of swords here. Okay, so it seems like some kind of heartache ended up happening. Somebody's trying to make everything happy again. But let's see what this hermit card is about. Okay, so let's see what we're thinking about. All right, so somebody's trying to recover something. We got a lot of swords. Well, I guess we don't have a lot of swords. But um, it seems like somebody is trying to recover something. All right, let's see what this is. So Ace of Cups. So it seems like somebody may have lost passion in the relationship, okay? And I feel like one person lost the passion. Of course, the other person still has it. And I feel like they lost it over some kind of heartache or heartbreak that happened to them. Um, usually the Three of Swords, it's most of the time some kind of uh, infidelity, Okay, some kind of affair going on. And I feel like somebody is trying to regain the uh, the passion, the love that was once there. Okay. All right, so we got the Knight of Cups here. So it seems like somebody is not willing to um, accept this offer. It's just like you're trying to make this person happy after you cheated or after you did something they asked you not to. Just after you broke some kind of... Um, rule that you had in your relationship and it seems like um, the person that you're dealing with is not willing to accept the apology or any kind of offers all right so hmm so we got the two of coins reverse here this makes me feel like you want to cover somebody wants to cover a relationship but they feel like they have no chance okay and that's when they're turning down the offer but let's get one more card here All right, yes, yeah, so it seems like I'm not sure who you are in this situation, but um, somebody feels like there's no option, okay? Okay, so somebody did something, I'm going to just say to you, um, now they're trying to make the rekindle the fire, okay? But it seems like it's just not happening. I feel like somebody is just too broken from this situation, okay? Uh, with this four of swords, I feel like somebody just keep trying to make offers to try to re um, renew the relationship. But I feel like somebody just feels like it's not going to work. Okay. And then we got the nine of swords. It feels like somebody like it's not going to work, you know, because I know that I'm going to st still think about this. I know it's going to bring me nightmares. So it seems like somebody knows that they're never, they'll never be able to trust the other person again. So they're walking away okay walking away 
All right, so we got the lover's card. So I definitely can feel this. There is love here, but the betrayal is much stronger, okay? Somebody cannot uh, come back from it. Somebody, I feel like peace of mind here. Like, it, there's no option. There, It'll never be right, you know? Okay, yes, yeah, so the nine of wands. So it seems like somebody is emotionally exhausted with this situation. I feel like somebody just been hit too many times with this stick and they, they just quitting. It's just like, I love for I love you. I know we got some kind of spiritual connection. Wow, look at this. I look at I never seen these cards like that, but it's like the energy is flowing up through here and, and blasting out of here. So you do guys do have some different kind of uh energy, different kind of love here. But it's just like, you know that you will never be at peace with this person. Like, because you love them that much. Because this person did what they did to you. You know, you, you feel like you, you just can't go there anymore. Okay? So, it seems like you're giving up. Exhausted. Ooh, man. I just, anxiety. A little anxiety. Okay? Somebody is giving up that anxiety. All right. So, we got the king of coins reversed here. So, this is like um, somebody is getting rid of love, okay? Getting rid of the, the part where they're caring about the situation and people and only caring about material gain, okay? Somebody is trying to uh, shield their heart for, I mean, at least the next couple months, all right? But that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you like a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me. We can set something up. Other than that, thanks for watching.